Hi everybody, I'm Matt Ross. I'm the CMO here at Bloom Energy. And I want to talk to you about Korea where we've had some very exciting developments over the last year and a half. Many of you may know that we signed our first contract in Korea, entered the country in December of 2017. And a little less than one year later, about 11 and a half months, that first contract, 8.35 megawatts at Bundang for Cohen, which is right about here, just south of Seoul, has actually gone into commercial operation and is running now. Now, we worked together with SK on that first project, and that relationship gave us so much confidence that we came back and signed an exclusive distributorship agreement, preferred distributorship agreement with uh, SK uh, back in middle of November and announced that in uh, the media at that time. I'm happy to report to you that in just a little over a month from the point of signing that agreement, We've won our second, third, fourth, and fifth projects in Korea. So let's talk about the first of these, <clears throat> which is with Korea Midlands Power, Comipo in other words. This is another one of the Korean uh, utility gen uh, generating companies. Um, and this is for a six megawatt project in downtown Seoul. Now Seoul is a metropolitan area of 25 million people. So this is an enormous city. And this deployment is going to be at a cultural park in downtown Seoul. Our energy density plays a big role here, so we can pack a lot of power in a very small space, not take up much of this park. Very low noise signature, uh, very pleasing industrial design, uh, design to look at. And because we're in the middle of a big city, the fact that we don't emit any smog emissions is critically important. Uh, the second project I'd like to talk about, in fact, the second and third projects are both with Korea Telecom, which is a major company also in Korea. And they are uh, doing two pilot projects, two different locations, 900 kilowatts per location, 1.8 megawatts altogether. And in Korea, Korea Telecom um, performs, uh, of course, they're a major telecommunications company, sort of like AT&T and so on. But they're also an independent power producer, and they're feeding power into the grid. So these are two pilot projects um, which um, will give them the ability to uh, gain experience operating, uh, you know, bloom projects. And, uh, and uh, we anticipate in the future that, uh, you know, this paves the way to more deployments with Korea Telecom potentially at, at larger scale. So we're very excited about it.